two different constructs. One construct where just you, the small you, listens to the tape, and maybe in the privacy of your own home, you can see that's a construct. Or second alternative would be perhaps the tape being um, passed on to, to others to listen to, maybe even in groups or so on and so forth, and that's another construct. And one seems more favorable than the other. And the construct can't be recon recognized as a construct when there is an ordering. I mean, that's, that's what... Um, Say that again. A construct cannot be recognized as a construct, as a construct as long as there's an ordering. Yes. That's the escape from all concepts and constructs, is to, to literally sink beneath them in the mind, to literally not um, order and configure the thought forms, but to merely recognize them um, in a sense, that's stepping back to the biggest picture. The biggest picture you can possibly imagine would be a construct of the cosmos seen as, a, as an entire fabric without any ordering. So it ceases to be a construct. Yeah. Only, I mean, it's only the ordering. Right. And the seeing the fragmented parts as separate from each other that really makes it the construct that it is. And once that's removed from it, then it really is no longer a construct. I think you could say that, and I think a more accurate way would be to say, as I've just said, that you could, it's then seen as a construct. Oh, okay. You see, it's still a construct, but you're, okay. It's seen as a construct, okay. but, but, but as long as there's ordering going along on, then it's like... Then it seems real. It seems real. Instead of just a construct. It seems like I really am a person in a world. I've got this family. I've got this job. I've got these possessions. I've got, for instance, two cars. One's a, a 68 Plymouth and one's a, a 1992, you know, Camaro. And or uh, and I value <laughs> perhaps the, the one more than the other. I mean, the valuing, the ordering of the thoughts in the construct, in the thought forms, that's what obscures the mm -hmm. fact that it's okay. just a construct. Okay. That also obviously maintains the subject-object split by, by ordering. You know. I mean, obviously, even in subject-object, there's an ordering going on. You know, there's a separating. Mm -hmm. if, mm -hmm. if you just break it down to, I'm a, I'm a person, and then there's this vast, vast world, universe, cosmos, then in a sense you've got the, the old individual versus society or individual versus universe, kind of a, a split going on. And there's a great importance placed on this personhood. I keep, like, my mind keeps reaching or grasping for ways of understanding the subject-object. Because I notice just the, the use of those words to me seems very abstract. Um, so it, it helps me to think of it in terms of self-concept. What are some other ways of framing or talking about that same thing? using different words. Because it has to do with, you know, I, um, it's identifying with a, a self, which of course would be a small self, as, um, as subject, as separate from everything else that's not that. It runs real deep. I mean, you know, a scientist, um, the scientific method, you know, defining the problem, gathering information, performing an experiment 
on something implies the subject object or the observer observed. Um, part of the scientific method is observation. Observation with the body. I mean, whether you're using a microscope or a telescope or um, the naked eye, so to speak, or whatever, you know, the subject is the observer. And there is an observed, which is an object. So there's a couple different words you could look at. Um, so how does that relate to, you know, when we talk about mind watching mm -hmm. and wanting to be in that observer role? Yeah. The observer in we could call with an app capital O is the mind being able to observe the thoughts as opposed to the subject object or the observer observed work back talking about personhood um, the observer in the observer observed is a small o observer is is a person Keeping Tom, a scientist who's observing certain phenomena, a housewife who's who's observing, watching her her kids, um, or the belief that um, that I'm a person. Um, Some, in, in any way that, that there's a belief in, in personhood, we're still at the, the small O. The mind um, can, can be trained to watch all thoughts just go by in like a steady a stream of consciousness or the stream of thought without the assumption of personhood. It can and be trained to step back and step back to see the big picture, to even see that, that the belief in personality traits, you know, I'm shy, I'm aggressive, I'm beautiful, or by worldly standards, or handsome, or, you know, on and on and on. I'm good at math, and I'm not so good at baseball, and so on and so forth. It, it can step back and just watch the entire stream of consciousness. And of course that implies an identification with the capital S self. Yes, Whereas the other one, of course, would be the small S self. Mm -hmm. At the beginning this can seem, you know, very difficult and and it can be the mind can have thoughts like there is no capital O observer back there. I mean, it's just this all this thoughts. My mind is is crazy, you know, the, the mind might say, or, you know, I can't observe. And, and in a sense, that's where the, the practice comes in. That's, that's where um, disidentifying um, takes, takes practice, because the mind believes that it is those thoughts. So how do you practice it? I mean, how would you even describe to somebody how you practice this? Well, initially, usually it's just something as simple as just um, sitting down and, and closing the body's eyes and um, um, attempting first, maybe to, to, at the beginning, to take hold of particular ideas from the Course. Uh, like the idea for the day as a, as a point of attention, that the mind is untrained at this point, it's, it wanders, it wanders, it wanders, it jumps around, it skips, it just, it, um, it's frantic. <laughs> it's when, if someone honestly starts to look at their mind in the untrained state, they, they see a very um, chaotic. chaotic, frantic state. Mm -hmm. And um, at this point, in the early stages, it's good to have a particular idea for the day, maybe from the Course, or some people in other traditions call them mantras, um, Just affirmations. Just something to rivet on, or yes. keep bringing the mind back to when, right. it, when it notices that it has wandered away from it. Yes. 
And these are the early stages. I mean, this and this can go on, you know, for quite some time with the practicing of this. And with persistence, um, there is a sense of um, of a of a calming down, um, of a of a more settling into a more stillness. And not to say that the the chaotic state won't seem to come back and seem to come come again, but at first, the words, the, the lines, the mantras, or anything are really helpful. And as one proceeds along, it, it gets to be more and more a sense of um, that this is not a separate activity when the, the body's eyes are closed or when the body is sitting in a particular place or particular posture. It's These no longer taking time out and sitting down for a particular exercise. Right. It's more like ongoing. Yes. And, and in a sense, the mind is getting to become aware that the inner and the outer, the inner world of thoughts and the outer world of projected images aren't different. So that once the mind starts to, to become more and more aware of that fact that, that they aren't different, then the idea of meditating by closing one's eyes um, and going, finding a place far away where no one can disturb disturb you and so on and so forth, that starts to, to fade because, you know, that's a thought. That's a thought form as well. But it's, it's more of a, uh, like a carpet ride or a flow of being, flowing down a river, um, just bobbing along and, and, um, and being carried in a sense by an energy or a flow in the mind where, whereby you know you can you can watch you don't feel an attachment to thing to outcomes to the forms coming out a particular way I mean the, the whole peace of mind is a goal that is an abstract goal it's not a quantifiable um, goal you don't you can't um, in a sense measure peace of mind or you can't describe it by um, certain situations or so on and so forth in a, in a real sense. I mean, that the mind will still attempt to do that and say, I'm more peaceful when I'm walking in the park than when I'm, you know, in a city driving. I'm more peaceful than when I'm in meditation than when I'm uh, at my parents' house talking about something or so forth. You know, it still wants to make categories and and we've talked about that earlier. But but there's just a disidentification from the way the, the scripts of the world have to go. That can, to many, that can seem like, well, how do you live then if you don't, if you don't uh, judge and you don't order thoughts and you don't strive and pursue and so forth? I mean, what happens? That seems that can seem boring and and. Um, it can seem like retre retreating or withdrawing from the world and so forth. And really, in the ultimate sense, it's a it's a stepping back from the thought forms in the mind. But this there's no dependence on what the body is doing or is not doing in that sense, because the body is a thought form. So we're we're talking at another level now. We're we're not talking at a retreat from the world in the sense of uh, try and run and hide has nothing to do with body. form, really. Right. So, and we're talking at a level where it's strictly of the mind. Mm -hmm. And the form will follow, as it always follows. The form mm -hmm. will always follow the content in the mind. The form is seen as a construct, you see. When the thought forms are ordered, they seem real. I'm a real person in a real world, I got real problems and so forth. But in the mind watching with the capital O observer, with the capital W witness self, capital self, then the world, the the entire world, the entire cosmos is, is seen as a construct. Mm -hmm. And it's really out of seeing out of not seeing it as a construct and seeing it as real that I would even have the question about, you know, what do I do? What about job? What about whatever? Mm -hmm. 